My favorite line of all time, release the world engine, classic line. I say that every morning <laughs> when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> all right, release the world engine. Hey guys, welcome to the show. I've forsaken Zoom today because my guest insisted on being in the same room as me. This is gonna either be awesome or I'm gonna be dead in about 10 minutes. Say hello to Michael Shannon. Hey, Josh. Hey. Oh, I see. You're afraid of... No, I've been... We're all vaxxed. We're good, buddy. Okay. Does this feel different? This feels different to me. It this does is feel exciting. different. Yeah, the last time I was on uh, the internet. It was, on, it was in the Zoom box. It's all kind of creepy. Yeah, this feels totally not creepy at all. No, not at all. Yeah. This was meant to be. This was something I've been dreaming about for a long time. You're strange. So, you've been working. Mm-hmm. You've, you've done stuff in person. Or do you feel like things are back to normal for you? You're a big hugger. Everybody knows you as a big hugger. Are you hugging people? The only person I hugged on a regular basis since COVID started shooting was uh, Brad Pitt. I, I would hug him first thing when I got to work on Bullet Train. When I saw him, I'd just run up and, and grab him, yeah. basically. You would jump into his arms, yeah. as I understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you for clarifying that you worked on a film together, because I thought that you were just tracking down Brad Pitt for... No, months. it was... It was a job. I worked with Brad Pitt. No, that's, that's great. You heard it here first on whatever this is. <laughs> now wait, are, are you shirtless with Brad? Do you have the physique of Brad Pitt? Yeah, I take my shirt off, yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's an exclusive, wow. Was it in the script or did it just feel natural in the moment? It, it was improv. Yeah, yeah, you're known for that. Yeah. Congratulations on your new series. I very much enjoy Nine Perfect Strangers. Thank you. Does this show have continuity with the classic 80s sitcom Perfect Strangers? Is there any overlap? You know, I'm so glad you asked me that question. Nobody's ever thought of that, to ask me that before. The question is, if there's nine perfect strangers and four of them are Balky and four of them are Larry, who's the ninth one? That's the twist at the end we have to find out. Yeah. Have you decided when to show the Shannon family, the children, your oeuvre. Like, when do they get to see Bug? They came to visit me in Australia when I was shooting this, and they were in quarantine with their mom. And mom said, hey, let's watch some of Daddy's, uh, these movies he made with uh, Jeff Nichols. So they watched, like, uh, Take Shelter and wow. Mud and, I believe, Midnight Special. That's intense. That's some intense yeah, stuff. It is. They're okay? My kids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're fine, Josh. I'm just what kind of question is that? I just want to make sure the next generation is better off than you. The buck stops here. <laughs> All the problems. Say it right, right now on whatever this is. <laughs> the buck stops here. That's, what, that's your catchphrase. Happiness is next. Oh, wow. Very appropriate for the wellness show. Yeah. Um, you play a character named Napoleon. Not dynamite, though. I was going to say, no, no, this is not inspired by that classic no. character. No. Who do you think was a better leader, Napoleon or Zod? Well, um, they both failed. Do you think Zod got a bad rap? Yes, I think Zod did the best he could. I, here's my only thing on the Zod thing, and then we'll leave it alone forever, okay? What? Why just so much screaming? Like, maybe that's why he has the bad reputation. He was just always screaming. I mean, maybe if David Harbour had played Zod, uh, there wouldn't have been so much screaming. I know he's your favorite, seeing as how he was the first interview you did uh, person to person. I didn't know you would be amenable to this, frankly, given all our past experiences. Anyway, what was your question? <laughs> um, nine perfect oh yeah, David Harbour, he would have been a much better Zod. He wouldn't have screamed. <laughs> I want to talk about your relationship with the internet. The internet loves Michael Shannon. Can I grab this? I want to show you some memes. Okay, so these are some of my favorite memes of Michael Shannon. That's you. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you approve of them, if you like them. What you're, just give me your this gut reaction. better not be embarrassing. What do you think? He gives him McDonald's right as they stop serving rice. That's just stupid. Stupid. Okay. No, I didn't make it, so I'm not offended. It's totally fine. Why is this way every anti max room? Stupid. Still stupid. Okay, we're over two. Okay, it's a high bar. How I be watching when Michael Chan showed them? Oh, cool. All right. Oh, right. this is cool. Well, this if it's flattering all... to me, I, I approve. These all are flattering. The internet is celebrating you. I don't like that hair. Are you upset? Of course, I've been upset. How long has this interview been going on now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is unbelievable to me how much free time human beings have. So that's a yes, that's a thumbs up. No. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's kind of fun. That's the long, I didn't realize my tongue was that long. I'm proud. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, okay. Oh, you remember when that was taken? No, who is it? It's hurtful. That was us. I have no memory of you that. Do you know you were? No. I have the tape. We've talked no. about it. Okay. I think there's one more. 
Oh, that's fun. Favorite side for old character has got to be Kramer. That's funny. He's saying you're kind of Kramerish. Uh, that, that I look like Kramer? Yeah. How long does this take, this segment? I don't get that time back, you know? No, neither do I. Oh, what? You said that was the last one. I'm bad with you that. You know what the phrase, the last one, means. I haven't done one of these in a while in person. Okay. You know that. I'm so glad this is over. Thank you. Well, there's one more. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Not with that. This, this we're done. Oh, wait a second. Why does that say Comedy Central on it? That's what you're on. I told oh. you. Oh. Are you ready? All right. Okay. This show is set at a wellness retreat. I yes, want to know sir. what the Michael Shannon ideal for a wellness retreat would be. Is ayahuasca or the like of a uh, party? You know, I've heard a lot of people talk about ayahuasca, but I don't think, no. Maybe we should do ayahuasca together. <laughs> I, I, I was joking, but. No. Okay. Career, word association with Michael Shannon. Give me the first thing that comes to your head. Eight Mile, first thing that comes to mind. Greek, Greek town. Greek town? Yeah, in Detroit. Okay. Bad Boys 2. Uh, Henry Rollins t telling me the story about touring with The Cure and Iggy Pop. Oh, that is cool. Revolutionary Road. Kate Winslet. She's so amazing. Take Shelter. My favorite movie I've ever made. That's a good one. Legit. I don't give a F what you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Boardwalk Empire. I am relaxed. <laughs> I am calm. That's the line. I am calm. <laughs> Close enough. When the guy says, hey, calm down, I say, I am calm. Then I blow his head off. Your favorite, to talk about at least, Man of Steel. What? <laughs> My favorite one? Ah! <laughs> My favorite line of all time, release the world engine. Classic line. I say that every morning <laughs> when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Release the world engine. And uh, Knives Out. Man, they're making a sequel. I don't get to be in it. That's a really happy place to end this, I think. I'd like to thank you, Mike. How unfair life is? Yeah, I think that really sums up our relationship generally. What's my score? Six. Isn't it great to, look at, look, we're in the same shot. Look, look, I can touch you. Did I overstep my bounds? No, that's all right. You okay? Did I hurt you? Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank you, Michael Shannon. I'd like to thank uh, the Moderna vaccine for making this possible. Did you do Moderna too? I did it. I did two of them. Are you going to get the booster? Yeah. Oh, when? yeah. Whenever it's available, right? Yeah. Should we do it together? The ayahuasca and the booster? Oh, that'd be trippy. It's a date. This has been great. Was it as great as when you did it with David Harbour? Or did you prefer that? That was different. All right. I think we can go now. <coughs>